Nerve pain can be exasperating. It can take you out in so many levels and just bring you down. Today, we're gonna to talk about neuralgia, what it means and what you can do about it. If you've ever had pain in your nerves, you know it can be maddening. And sometimes you don't even know where it's coming from. It could be coming from your head, causing a neck pain, from a neck, causing a head pain, from a back, going down the leg. There's so many things that can go under the big bucket of neuralgia. And neuralgia is, if we define it, the neuro part of neuralgia is nerve and alga is pain. So nerve pain, it can be very diffuse as a term and it can apply anywhere. So if you've been in some sort of an accident, whether it's a major trauma or a lot of micro traumas and overuse syndrome, you might've been given a diagnosis of neuralgia. So your doctor says, boy, you have neuralgia. So now you know what neuralgia is, is it's nerve pain. Nerve pain can be caused by a few things, but one of the, again, if we, if we damage a nerve by, by crushing a nerve, that's one thing. But if we overstimulate or overstretch a nerve, that's kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum. So what do you do with neuralgia? Well, first of all, you gotta go get it properly diagnosed. So if you are experiencing radiating pain that seems to go down a leg or from inside to out of the body or wrapping in certain patterns and distributions, it could be going from the front of the hip kind of into the back, anything like that needs to have a proper diagnosis. So please get to your doctor and find out what might be going on because nerve pain, muscle pain, and some joint pain, even organ pain, they can all have similarities that we need to get teased out and make sure that you're getting the right care. But for actual neuralgia, oftentimes you can have neuralgia from muscles that are literally pinching on some of the tunnels where nerves can come out. And that happens oftentimes in your arms and in your legs, so in the extremities. In that case, what we want to do for neuralgia is we want to do these, they call nerve flossing stretches are a great way to go, where we'll actually take an extremity. For example, your arm, we might put our arm back here and then take our head in the opposite direction. This can help neuralgia that goes from the wrist up into the neck. There's also these same kind of nerve stretches or nerve flosses for the lower back and into the hip and into the groin. So those are great things for neuralgia. There's also something that the very specific group of body workers, uh, specifically chiropractors or physical therapists or massage therapists, they'll work on tunnels called grommet holes where some of these nerves come out and exit from underneath the skin, they exit through the skin, and then they'll take those, those little areas of exit and they'll manipulate them with using different instruments or their hands, and that loosens where that nerve is getting trapped and helping the neuralgia. So that's another way. You might need some medication to help with your neuralgia. So there's several things that you can do that are from basically more body work, more self-stretching, and then medications. Sometimes if the neuralgia is too great and it becomes chronic, then you might need a, a deeper intervention, whether that nerve gets a what's called a, an ablation, where it kind of gets fried so that it doesn't sense things, to a, it could be a block of the nerve so that now medication blocks the ability to send it, and eventually it could even mean some sort of a surgery. So there's this whole scope of neuralgia treatment that you can do, it just depends where it is and how severe it is. But the sooner, like anything else, the sooner you get on it, the sooner you find out what's going on, the easier it is to take care of. So I'm Dr. Jim Hoven. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to me, jim at ramoslaw.com, and I'm happy to help. And until next time, remember, your health matters.